Hello and welcome back to this museum where today we're doing something a little bit random. We've been invited to a photo shoot with Chiro from Petrol Hedonism for his new event that's coming I think in April next year called Petrol Hedonism Underground. Which just it's it's nuts, isn't it? It is. And it's this isn't the kind of thing we would normally bring you guys behind the scenes on, but today we felt like we would because not only is this gonna be really cool and there's a lot of really cool stuff there that we think you will want to see. Yeah. But we're heading to Wembley Stadium. Yeah, we drive past Wembley so often when we go down to Topaz, Topaz or, or wherever it is. And, and we, we always drive. show the arch. Yeah, we show the arch, we show the Hawker Hunter. See, we're taking notes to yeah. clean up in the building. But this time we're going to, I think, one of the car parks around Wembley for a photo shoot. There's loads of different guys going to be down there, loads of different cars. And we are taking the Aston Martin Vantage GT8. So you can imagine how big my smile is. Tom has got the biggest smile. If you can probably see it reflecting onto me. I'm <laughs> right yeah, we're gonna take this down, make a bit of noise. It looks great and it fits in with the theme of, Jiro said, can you bring something iconic to me? I think this is pretty iconic to me. I think it is. And I had a conversation with him this morning. I did give him a couple of other options, but he told me this will be the only British supercar. Oh, there. 100%. I didn't know that. So we have to take this. And yes. the variety of cars there is insane. We've got JDM stuff, we've got classics. Anything you can imagine is going to be there. So we'll take you down, basically have a walk around and a run around and see what we can find and have a chat about some of the cars. And from what I understand, there should be some really epic photographers there, such yes. as Nick Williams, huge friend of the Museum and yep, the Shmi 150. Stuff. And a lot of other photographers, videographers. It, it's just going to be nuts. And I might even have heard a rumour about some dry ice. Ooh. So, yeah. without further ado... We need to get on the road. Cold start time. Usual procedure then. And down here, lift up the boot. You're excited for this one. I'm like, of course I am, it's GT8 time. When am I not excited to drive this car? I mean, it's a bit miserable, it's cold, it's wet, it's on cup twos. Maybe it's not the ideal time of the year to bring it out, but no garage queens here, right? Exactly. What, We're going to get tough. this thing. This thing's pretty clean, actually. It is. It is. We, we cleaned it not that long ago. It won't be for very long. No. It, that, but yeah, I need to come back down 30 here. 30 seconds after we leave, it's going to be filthy. But it is what it is. Right, let's have some noise. <laughs> out in the Vantage GTA rolling through some residentials and town sort of high streets not the ideal place for a car of this nature no not really it still sounds good it does and, and the fact that we are in stop start traffic does mean we can get some lovely V8 accelerations going on not massively because we're in a 30 mile an hour zone but we can get some noise going on and now we're stopped at a traffic light uphill in a GTA, which is... Good luck. Yeah, he'll start in a GTA. I think handbrake will be required for this Is this one where we cut before we do this, just in case you do still? No. Oh, we made it. Nice. Yeah. Let's ride the gloves a little bit, and uh, we'll be absolutely fine. So, yeah. It's not the easiest thing to do a hill start in this car, though, is it? You know that. Getting it back onto the lift is interesting enough. Yeah, reverse is very interesting. Reverse is very, I don't know why, for some reason in this car, reverse, I don't know if it's the ratio, but it's it's very, very easy to stall this car in reverse. If you're, um, yeah, if, if anything. So going onto the lifts is very tricky. But we're enjoying the GTA, loving life. It's a great daily, this. You actually can use it every day. It's like we've been just been going over like pothole roads, speed bumps. And if you were going over major speed bumps, you might want to take the front splitters off, but it's not uncomfortable. No, so it's a really comfortable car. It's but this is a weird route for us actually to get to Wembley. It's not the normal yeah. way, but I assume there's traffic on the North Circular maybe, so we're just I assume cruising. So. Which is a shame, because it means we don't get to see the, the Hawker Hunter. Yeah, imagine that's not always actually called, and we've just, I've just made it up again. Is it Hawker Hunter or Hawker Hurricane? Something, Hunter. plane. We don't Lamborghini get to see the plane. Hurricane. Yeah. Lamborghini Hurricane. Yeah. No, it, it, is. It, it, it definitely isn't. Yeah. We'll, we'll be there soon. We'll um, join you guys when we find Wembley Arch, hopefully. And then when we find Jiro and the rest of the guys that he's got down with him for the shoot. Yes, yeah, so let's stop Let's stop waffling, talking nonsense, and let's show the guys some cool cars. There's the arch. We have eventually found it, even though we're going, like we said, a different route than we used to. But Wembley is just there. We're about five minutes away now. And then we get to go and catch up with Jiro and see what else has turned up. Yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to this one because yeah, it's always lovely to see Jiro catch up with friends, but not only that, I mean, he just doesn't stop, right? And I can only imagine the set 
set up that he has there, and it's yeah, it's, Shiro it's gonna in, be an all. In his own words, Shiro's on it. He is on it. He really is. He's told me some of the plans this morning for the upcoming event, which obviously I can't reveal just yet, but they are huge. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Here's Wembley. We're just trying to figure out exactly where we're going, but Wembley Stadium, just there as you do. They've actually got some filming going on that we thought maybe to do with us, but it's not. It's no. for a new MG. Yeah, which uh, was quite cool. I'm sure it's very exciting. Camera rig. To be but, fair, they did have an old uh, MGB GT yes. as part of the filming, which was really quite cool. But um, we need to find the green car. Green zone. Green zone? Green zone, maybe. Can we go to green zone? I don't know. We need to figure it out, so we'll join you once we find everyone else. We have arrived underground at Wembley. Chiro has He's stolen my seat. He has stolen my seat, so I'm now being forced to walk. But just a quick overview of what we have. 570, an old Pontiac, I believe. Yeah, and um, Corvette RX-7, this is cool. This is really cool. And a bunch of stuff up here. Some really cool things. Let's head up and have another bit of a better look. We've got Nick NWVT here. We've got an E30 M3. We have Adam C. Hello. This is nuts. Corridor security. Supras. This is mental. Also, Finesse's cars. S15. R32. M2. Yeah, some really, really cool stuff. At the back. Six series. Old 911. And I'll GT8. All being lined up. Right. Thank you, everybody, for supporting this, coming along, being part of it. We want to create as much media as possible today and so we've got four different sets of shoots. This is the hero shot shoot, is what we'll call it. Um, again, thank you for everybody supporting this. You're all welcome to do as much media as you want. All right, Vanessa here doing stuff for their own channels uh, as well as what we're creating with their amazing cars. Raj on the team from Car Audio at the back with the retro rides uh, and everybody in between. Obviously we've got the Charger, the RX-7, the Supra, and the ones at the front here. We're going to get this worked through, then we're going to set the cars up along that wall over there, have some group shots as well as that kind of Japanese underground car photo shoot uh, scene as well. Then after that we're going to use that barrier, and we're going to open that big barrier over there up. I'm going to choose eight cars and we're going to have them coming in as opposite. So where I'll have a Japanese car, I'll have an American muscle car. Where I have a supercar, I'll have a retro car. Coming in through there as a rival shot. And then with the photographers that we've got here as well, single shots around the car park in different places, okay? We've got photography with Rory and Nick Williams. We've got uh, portrait uh, short form reels, TikToks with Jack. And we've got my night to be Charlie as well. Well, for this, you're all welcome to do everything you want to do, and everybody else. The Museum are doing a video for their channel as well. Oh, yeah, anybody, you're all welcome to do what you want to do. Only thing is, do not post Adam C's. He's announcing it tomorrow night. No, next week. Next week. Next Friday. So do not post Adam C's. Okay, so first up, first part of the shoot Derek. is a hero car shoot, essentially. Okay. Sure, this is petrol headers from underground, take one. It's gonna be nuts, right? My vision is billboards, digital billboards around the A406 and the M25, and tube stations up the escalators with your face on it, Brad. Love it, love it. This is gonna be cool. So some dry ice is gonna appear, I think, here from behind. And then it's gonna come. The guys are gonna drive through. We've got the, the veil side.
it's not just driving it through drives, but also driving it with some amazing cars around as well. 100%. We've got lovely E30. Lovely E30. It's, it's the variety. Sylvia. Like, Liberty Walk Sylvia. <laughs> Liberty Walk Sylvia. It's or the M2, the Skyline. It's the variety that yeah. makes it so special. The classics, the sort of supers, some more JDM stuff, and the M2 obviously, and then iconic. We have the new M240i here as well. The guys are We do, and that looks stunning. I was never a fan of these, but they've done something with it that actually makes it look you really know, nice. The more people do to them, the more parts that come out, they're starting to look better. And do you know what I think makes it even better still is when you look at the new M2, sorry BMW, but when you look at the new M2, I actually think it makes this look a lot better. Oh, I have to agree, yeah. This is, this is a good looking car. But also, yeah. we have a Skyline, a Supra, and an RX-7 here. Yeah. yeah, we've got the holy trinity of the JDM one. Uh, of JDM, yeah, really, it's... Well done, Jiro. It's done well. And there's well more done, things Jiro. to turn up that aren't even here yet, so... Yeah, so I believe that obviously they're going to be doing the, uh, the photo shoot now. Yeah, we'll come down for that in a bit, so I've stepped out and um, yeah, come see you and you guys. Sorry. That's alright. Here's some behind the scenes. We have Tom over there. We have 572. This is behind the scenes of a photo shoot. This is pretty cool. Seeing in the GTA. Brad has now hopped out of the GT8. That is now parked up in this lineup next to the ZR1 or ZR1, however, we're going to say, depending on where we're from. Um, then got the lovely 635 there. We've had a couple latecomers. We've got the Aventador, the McLaren as well. And somewhere I did see a Mustang has turned up um, somewhere down there. Here we go. Next up is a video and photo shoot of all the cars lined up. We literally have everything going the whole way down this back wall here. Everything from the 570, another one we've had turn up in a lovely baby blue. We've got the Aventador SV. We've got Nick working his magic. And the cars look good. There's the smoke as it comes past the GT8 and some of the auto first cars. This is pretty cool. Let's follow down this way just to have a look at how some of these look with the dry ice. Trans Am looking pretty cool. This is the G82 M4. And obviously then we get the, the Fast and Furious. Apologies if this comes across as a bit of a random video, but essentially we have brought the GC8 to an underground car meet as the title hopefully would have suggested. This is an underground meet. We're underground in a car park with a load of classics, JDMs. It's an underground meet. And it's a place that a car like the GC8 wouldn't normally go if we're taking things quite literally. But it's cool, bit of a random video, lots going on, um, lots of other bits to show you coming up shortly. But yeah, it's good fun, it's good fun. Next up is some rolling shots out the back of the minivan, dry ice being blasted. I think the wind's coming through quite strong now, which means it's going a little bit crazy, but I'm pretty sure it gets the same effect either way. Dry ice coming through, minivan coming through. Next up on our little underground meat adventure is, I think, is this heading out or is this just arriving at the event? I don't know. I think we're going out and then we're going to be coming in as though we're arriving in opposite pairs. Yes, so and we're, we're opposite the M4. Yeah, we're in the R44 M4. R44 yep. M4, that's a word twister and a half. Yes. Maybe we should just call it the R44. Yeah, R44. Yeah, something like that. So yeah, we're, we're now going to the right, those guys are going to the left, and then we'll be looping around and coming in together, so the, the camera will be inside the car park, so you see the opposite pairing yep. come together. Do you know what we do win against the, the R44? Noise. That, that, that might be the easier thing to drive, but we win the noise. Yes. Sorry. Definitely win the noise. This is a really cool location as well. Like, the wheels on that are really cool. Yes, lovely bronze colour supplied by the guys at R44. Sorry, can we just appreciate this little lineup we've got here? <laughs> we've got the Dude, Supra. Is that a Supra? That is a Supra. Have we made that joke yet? No, video? we haven't. That's there you bad go. Of us. We've got the Valside RX7 in front of us, which is cool as. Also, for nice as S15, Liberty Walk there. Trans Am over there. Trans Am over that way. Down at Wembley Park. Now outside, really cool little location by the car park where the meet and the event will happen. GTA is looking. Lovely, looking lovely. Next to an R32 Skyline GTR. This thing, yeah, this thing's cool. It's quite nice having the cars outside actually, just so we can have a full, a better look at them. I guess it's nice being inside, but this really shows things off. And it does that. Yeah, this is different, different level. Hello, Jero. You want me to move the car? You want me 
to move the car? I'd love you to move the car, Tom, okay. with um, special courteous thanks and appreciation. Please move the car. <laughs> Literally drive it towards me here. Okay, will do. Angle. Brent, I should probably give degrees. you that one. Off you go. 52, 52 degrees. What are we measuring? We're having some inception here. Filming LMC, filming an RX7. Where's the GTA? Fine. Keep coming, straight. No, straight. All of the cars we have here. As Chiro gets ready for a quick video clip, yeah, we have everything. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Next stage, cars are all moving from the photo shoot, the group shot, and now we've got them all coming around this way. We've got Dom's charger coming around to our petrol hedonism underground projection up on the wall. And that's a wrap. We're done. Let's go home. Time. Time to head back to the cake. 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 I think we're gonna have cake with Nick actually. Let's go for cake with Nick. Well, can we just appreciate this little lineup we've just made? Chaser, we've got the SV tucking in, the Supra 570. Like the name of the face, we've got Chiro, we have Nick from NWT, we have Adam C. Like, we're this man. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> to ours and his channel, to both. Both of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah to yeah. both. Just before we go. basically been stuck in traffic the whole way back which is never fun but we are back now we've made it GCA has served us well coming to an underground beach so I'm gonna go put the shutter down and then I guess we will pretty much finish the video here. Yeah, that. Look, at the, look at the grin on this face. <laughs> oh too good. I don't think I'm ever gonna get bored of the way this thing sounds. It's good, right? It is. Well, it's good until you're trying to, you know, explain some stuff, what's going on, and then a certain driver, <clears throat> Tom, decides to start revving it so you can't say anything, but you know. Yeah, no idea what you're talking about. No idea what you're talking about. Do you know what? Rumour has it, the only things in the world that can, uh, that are louder than Chiro is a GT8 and an Aventador. <laughs> Sorry, Chiro. Yeah, we love you, no, really. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> he agreed. He agreed. Um, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed coming along today. It's been... It's not been our usual kind of vlog, I appreciate it. It's been very random. It's been random and very different. We don't normally sort of take you along to things like that, where no. essentially we've gone to Wembley Park, we've gone to one of the underground car parks, ready to help Chiro promote and supply you to the GTA along with everyone else. Yeah. Some cars for Petrol Hedonism Underground, which is yes. coming in April 2023. Yes, so make sure you guys check that out. Do get your tickets if you're coming along and hopefully we'll see you there with... Well, I'm sure many of these. Yeah, we don't know what's going, to be honest, here. I have no idea. But we'll figure that out nearer we'll the time. We'll decide nearer the time. It depends. The problem is, it's impossible for us to say what's likely to go, because we know at any moment, Tim will give me a phone call and say, a car's flying around the world again. Yeah, or I'm buying this, or I'm selling this. Like, we never but know what Hopefully, Tim. he doesn't say he's selling anything else, because obviously with the loss of the DBS, the GTR Roadster, and the STO. I actually know one car that will be there. 100%. Your car. My car. Your car. <laughs> that Sorry. will be there. There you go. If you guys want to see Brad's Bath 124 Spider on the air ride, on the rotiform, <gasps> a few of the Schmemobiles. I've just realised as well. Course, that will have changes done by then. Oh, yeah, of course. Do you know how to bleep stuff? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully he's just bleeped that or he's cut and joined yeah. back in. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed coming along on a really random day. Do let us know down in the comments if this is something you'd like to see more of in the future of the behind the scenes stuff. But for now, until next time.